Humans are capable of some of the most amazing feats of engineering. Among some of these advancements have been massive ships. Over the centuries, we've gone from wooden ships like the Mayflower to humongous floating cities like cruise ships. However, in these modern times, there have been a few ships put to sea that will leave you with a sense of awe. Dwarfing 95% of all other vessels in the ocean, these ships sail as if they own the seas. And to be honest, they kind of do. Here are the five largest ships ever built. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to Underworld to see more just like it. Container ships are some of the most important vessels on Earth, and for obvious reasons. They are the essential tool for countries when it comes to trade. This constant demand has brought about some of the most massive builds ever conceived. One of these enormous ships is the HMM Algeciras, one of the world's largest container ships. Built in South Korea, this massive vessel was designed to carry as much cargo as possible. But even designers were left awestruck when the construction was finally complete and the full scale of the build was in focus. The HMM Algeciras is a whopping 400 meters long, 60 meters wide, and 70 meters high. If you're wondering how many containers this monster can carry, that would be 24,000. In the industry, this vessel is known as an ultra-large container vessel, or ULCV for short. But what started out as an effort to optimize on economy and efficiency soon became a bit of a competition between shipping companies. Between 2013 and 2019, there were eight title holders for largest container vessel in the world. The Algeciras is currently the largest, surpassing the HMM Oslo. Although the Algeciras is the largest container ship in the world, there is a good chance that it won't keep that title for long. At least, not by itself. It is the first finished of 12 24,000 container capacity vessels. The remaining 11 vessels are due to be delivered by the end of 2022. These ships are set to be identical to the Algeciras, both in capacity and in dimensions. So, she will have to share the title with her new colleagues. Due to the political trend to reduce heavy cargo traffic in European ports and the current unfavorable situation caused by the COVID pandemic, it is very unlikely that there will be a bigger ship built by anyone else in the near future. Have you ever wondered how the large oil platforms were built? Originally, these huge floating islands were built and set to sea, much like ships. Tugboats would simply drag them out to the place where they would drill. However, times have changed thanks to the construction of the pioneering spirit. This ship is the largest construction vessel in the world. Designers saw the need for on-site construction, so they conceived this monstrous vessel for single-life installation and removal of large oil and gas platforms, as well as the installation of record weight pipelines. So, how massive are we actually talking about here? This twin-hulled ship is 382 meters long and 124 meters wide. At the bow, there's a slot that is 122 meters long and 59 meters wide that enables the pioneering spirit to move around a platform and lift and transport entire topsides using eight sets of horizontal lifting beams. For jacket removal and installation, Two 170-meter-long lifting beams, which are capable of rotating on hinges, are located at the ship's stern. Working with the lifting system is a 5,000-ton special-purpose crane, which allows for additional lifts such as lighter topsides and jackets, modules, and bridges. The construction of the pioneering spirit signifies a major advancement in offshore installation and decommissioning of platforms and pipelines. Capable of lifting entire platform topsides of up to 48,000 tons and jackets of up to 20,000 tons in a single piece. This vessel significantly reduces the amount of offshore work that was previously associated with installation and decommissioning, moving the work onshore where it is safer and more cost effective. As we said in the beginning of this video, cruise ships are among the biggest floating vessels to have ever sailed the oceans. They're like cities that can float. But we have come a long way since the days of the Titanic. 
Now we have cruise ships like the Oasis class cruise ships, a class that is owned by Royal Caribbean International Cruise Lines. You may think you know what big cruise ships look like, but you'll definitely have your mind changed if you ever saw one of these monsters in person. The largest of these enormous ships is the Wonder of the Seas, and it measures in at 362 meters long, 72 meters high from the waterline, is 66 meters at its maximum width, and weighs in at a whopping 236,857 tons. To give you an idea of what that's like, the ship is twice as long as the Washington Monument is high. There are 1,759 rooms, 23 dining venues, and 7 neighborhoods spread out amongst its 16 decks. Its maximum occupancy is 5,518 guests. For the longest time, the largest ship in the fleet of Oasis-class cruise ships was the Symphony of the Seas, which measures only 4 feet shorter than the Wonder of the Seas. What is even crazier is the fact that Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines has put in an order for another Oasis-class ship, which is planned for some time in 2024. Neither the name nor the dimensions have been released as of yet. However, it is estimated that the ship will weigh 231,000 tons, which is less than the Wonder of the Seas. Regardless, it makes little difference as each ship in the Oasis-class is of the largest passenger ships in existence. Bulk carriers, also known as bulkers, are merchant ships that are designed to transport packaged bulk cargo like grain, cement, coal, steel coils, and ore. The first bulk carrier was built in 1852. Designed to maximize capacity, safety, and durability, these ships make up 21% of the world's merchant fleets. The largest among these types of ships are the Veilmax class ships large ore carriers that are owned or chartered by the Brazilian mining company Vale SA. The most famous ship in the Valemax class fleet is the MS Ore Brazil, which was constructed in 2011 and called Vale Brazil until 2014. This enormous vessel is 362 meters long, 65 meters wide, and 30.4 meters in hull depth. She even has seven cargo holds with a combined gross volume of 219,980 cubic meters and a net tonnage of 67,993. Her dead weight tonnage is 402,347 tons. The MS Ore Brazil carries iron ore from Brazil to China along the Cape Route around South Africa. This area is known to be one of the most volatile in the world when it comes to crazy weather conditions. But that is exactly why this massive ship does so well. It gives you an idea for how much comes out of Brazil in terms of resources, especially when you realize that there are many other ships that are only a little smaller than the Ore Brazil. The MS Burge Stahl is 342 meters long, the Maru Sisters is at a length of 340 meters, and the Stellar Queen with a length of 331 meters. All of these ships run regular trips between various destinations, showing how Brazil is one of the top exporters of iron ore in the world. Yeah, we've covered quite a few large ships here. However, they all pale in comparison to the largest ship to ever be put to sea. In 1974, a new oil tanker was ordered by a Greek shipping magnate and was meant to be the largest ship in the world. However, the owner fell into financial hardships and was not able to pay in 1979. So, the ship became the subject of a long arbitration process. Finally though, a settlement was reached and the tanker was sold to a Chinese shipping kingpin named C.Y. Tung. The ship was refitted, lengthened by several meters, and had 156,000 metric tons of cargo capacity added. She was finally launched in 1981, with a capacity of 564,763 metric tons dead weight. The overall length was just over 1,504 meters, and had deck space of over 31,500 square meters. That's nearly as long as the Sears Tower is high. This ship definitely has a crazy story. In 1988, the CY's giant found itself in the middle of the Iran-Iraq War. On May 14th, she was sailing through the Strait of Hormuz carrying Iranian crude oil when she was attacked by Iraqi Air Force planes and sank. 
The following year, in 1989, after the end of the war, the wreckage was bought by a Norwegian consortium and brought back up. They decided to repair the ship, which they did. After two years and significant work, the tanker got her second name, the Happy Giant. She was sold again in 1991 and renamed the Yara Viking. But after 13 years sailing under that name, it was determined that the ship was too large and too slow to be a practical way to transport oil. Eventually, the ship was scrapped and the only thing left of it is the 36-ton anchor that is exhibited in the Hong Kong Maritime Museum. These huge ships are a testament of what can happen when construction and science work together. They are truly marvels of the engineering world. With new ships being built every year, it'll be interesting to see what will come next. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.